Hey everyone, and welcome to our simple science video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at empirical and molecular formula. And to start off, let's look at what these terms represent. So molecular formula shows the actual number of atoms in each element. It is basically the formula of the substance that you common you see in like basically you, you see in uh, common chemistry, like water. Uh, it would be H2O, or um, say carbon dioxide would be CO2. So that's the molecular formula. It shows the actual number of atoms that make up that molecule, all right? So for this example, let's use propene. It is basically a hydrocarbon that has three carbons and six hydrogens within the molecule. So therefore, the molecular formula would show the actual number of atoms inside the molecule, so that would be C3H6, all right? The empirical formula, on the other hand, will show the simplest, the simplest ratio between the atoms of an element in the compound. So basically, it's the molecular formula, but rounded uh, round it down, not, not round it down, but simplified, simplified to the nearest whole number. So that C3H6, you divide by 3 to all of the, to, to the number of uh, carbons and hydrogen, uh, so you get CH2. So it's basically a simpler, a simple division to give a whole number uh, ratio to represent basically our compound. And another example, another basic example in which we can see the difference between molecular formula and empirical formula would be for hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, is the common symbol, um, common symbol name that we give for hydrogen peroxide in chemistry. So the empirical formula would be the simple div divided version that will be HO. All right. So how do we calculate uh, the uh, empirical and molecular formulas. So first of all, let's look at how we calculate the empirical formula. So usually, okay. So first of all, I'm gonna uh, use it in a uh, in a question context. All right. So following investigation, uh, you will be given a substance and you'll be uh, told what it's made of by mass. So for example, a substance is made up of 54 grams of aluminium and 200, uh, 213 grams of chlorine. And you're asked to find the empirical formula for that compound. So basically, the simple ratio, simple molar ratio between the atoms in, uh, in, inside that compound. So first of all, you need to find the number of moles of each element inside our substance. And that would... Uh, so, so basically, remember, empirical formula is the ratio between the, uh, the number of atoms of each respective element compared to each other. Right? So it's very important that we must find the number of moles and then we compare this number of moles inside the molecule. So first of all, let's find the number of moles of each element. So aluminium would be 54 divided by the molar mass of aluminium, which is 27. That will give us 2 moles. So inside our given measured substance, we have 2 moles of aluminium. And chlorine will be 213 divided by 35.5, which is the molar mass, the uh, relative atomic mass of chlorine, which would give us 6. So there's a ratio of aluminium to chlorine of 2 to 6, which can be simplified to 1 to 3. And so therefore, the empirical formula that represents this, this ratio for our substance, our measured substance, pure substance, would be AlCl3, all right? So the molecular formula, on the other hand, would usually f uh, uh, result, we calculate it following a mass spectrometry, st mass spectrometry step, where from mass spectrometry, we can find the molar mass of that compound, all right? And by using the known empirical formula that we found in the previous step, we can find the molecular formula of the substance. So, for example, for the following mass spectrometry, the molecular mass of this substance is found to be 267. All right. So, first of all, by using our empirical formula, we can find the empirical mass. So basically, this step is um, this whole step to find the molecular formula is basically a comparison between the empirical mass and the molecular mass. So first of all, we need to find the empirical mass. That will give us 27 plus 3 times chlorine, that is 35.5 times 3. That will give us 133.5. That will be our empirical mass of our substance. So the important step is to divide the molecular mass by the empirical mass, and that will give us a basically a multiplier of 2. So there will Two empirical masses will result in one molecular mass. So we multiply this factor to our empirical mass. That should give us our molecular mass. And so therefore, when we multiply the factor into our empirical formula, we get the molecular formula. 
So that is Al2Cl6. So basically, you divide the molecular mass by the empirical mass and multiply this to our empirical formula to find the molecular formula. That's all it is. So to quickly summarize the video, you should be able to know that the molecular formula shows the actual number of atoms inside the molecule, and the empirical formula, however, shows the most simple ratio between the atoms. All right? And you should know the, the calculations for each based on the ratio and the division between the molecular mass and the empirical mass multiplied by the empirical formula to give us our molecular ratio. Molecular formula, sorry. So, thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you do come back and watch more of our videos to make sure you have not missed anything in your revision. Happy revising, guys, and I wish you all good luck.